gets robbed. Like you can't call yourself robot gangster and not mean like Mega Man or something, dude. You you gotta be careful with how you choose your tags. Some players, you gotta have the right tag with the right mean. You. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm sure. saying, man. That's all I'm saying. And we are still in uh, winner's side top 16, for those of you who are wondering. It's still best of three time. So this is probably one of the more meta matchups in terms of uh, where the online scene has been. Uh, you have a number of good Rob players that have been successful during this online era, whether it be 8-Bit Man or Epic Gabriel. And uh, Wrath is amongst the top tier Sonics that have definitely emerged during this Wi Fi era between himself, Squirrel Kells, Sonics, uh, so on and so forth. Yeah. It's, this is probably a well practiced matchup, basically. You, ha you have to be, right? Like, I think you have, that's the one thing about like online and offline is different metas altogether. You have to practice each matchup accordingly. If you're not used to characters like Rob, Sonic, Ness, Man, you're not gonna have a fun time. I would actually say, man, just put the controller down and maybe go play something else. But that's that's the beauty of being one of those top level players is you are practicing these matchups and using that up B to stop Rob. Because you know what's the common option for is that low side recovery. Yeah, Wrath almost boxed Robot Games into the uh, really awkward cornering space below PS2 stage, but he managed to avoid the second uh, spring jump. Oh, here we go. Oh, Wrath was just a couple frames away from like, connecting that spin charge to fair. Bro, I danced to having a little trouble getting back on stage and trying to get into this one. Manages to roll past Wrath. That was interesting. Dance <laughs> <laughs> yeah, had the right idea to go for Dare there, but Wrath was just a little bit away from him. Yeah, still able to survive that up there, those percents here. What I think we'll see likely is games to try and use Gyro in a way that uh, Pac-Man mains will use uh, Hydrant in this matchup to limit Sonic's uh, lateral quickness on the ground. Because Gyro can stay active for so long and actually really make a mess of Sonic's plans. That's what we kind of talked about, Fro. In this matchup, there are some things that Rob has, right? Lasting hitboxes, lasting aerials, right? And th those things are supplemented by having a really good game plan with Gyro. Gyro being the neutral winner for Rob as a character. And effectively, if you're holding Sonic in place like that, with Gyro as a constant threat to slow him down, man, you give Sonic a run for his money because he doesn't want to be slowed down. He wants to go fast, hit you in that whiff punish range, all that kind of stuff. What an excellent jab reset and a oh. full corner carry. Oh. Man, Robot Gangsta pulling out all the Gangsta moves. I, I really also love the, the bear attempt to continue to capitalize here. Why, meanwhile, Wrath was just giving it right back to him. Oh, we almost had one of those um, bounce back gyro sequences there. You usually see Rob Mains go for either a down smash or an F smash to continue it, but uh, Wrath managed to just get out of that one in time. Oh, Gainsaw was going for the back air, trying to try and time against Wrath's approach, not quite working. Oh, Nair back air for Wrath to do it there. Last off situation, let's see what Robot Games is made out of if he's got the metal to mess with Wrath. Yeah, so far, Wrath has really been, um, in some ways, it's a little surprisingly the aggressor here. Yeah. Oh, and that's the thing about Sonic, too. He can def Oh, he should oh, be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I would have not have put it past Wrath to get that stage tech, bro. He is one of those players yeah. that, like, He's just so excellent when it comes down to situations like that. He can bypass that gyro, but the robo arm's not going to be enough knockback here. Sonic at 170, that's where you really feel the pain of Sonic. It's like, man, this character is zipping and zooming around me. I can't even get the stock out because he can just move faster than I can react sometimes. He can close the distance just in movement alone. Like, you have to really consider your game plan. The one thing we haven't seen, though, bro, here is that laser. Where is the laser? You got to shoot the laser. We talked about how important it is to hold Sonic in place. And that laser gave Robot Gangsta some free space here to get center stage. And that's what he needs to do to survive. Yeah, we see that Robot Gangsta slowed this down incredibly so in order to try to preserve as much as he can off this last stock. And that's going to do it. Wrath now. And again, against Rob. A lead like this for Wrath might not be necessarily that safe, given the uh, zero to death possibilities that Rob can execute. 
Yeah. You might think that was a panic upbeat by Wrath, but it was really smart. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely smart. Robot Gangster, though, using that gyro to get himself back onto the stage. Forward air, down tilt, a mm, little bit of a movement here. No full mix-up. Neutral air to try to stop him in the stage. This is where things start to become slowly crucial for Gangster, because he's at 155 to 162. Oh, gets no. the forward air. Oh, he can, Gangster can bring this back. Gangster can actually bring this back. He's just got to watch himself on the recoveries here. Yes, use that gyro. Where's the laser, sir? Because you can come back onto the stage with that laser and gyro combo. Up tilt, not enough, man. You know Wrath slowly clenching his boots, because... You know, Gangsta, if he gets one opportunity, one Robo Arms off the stage, it could be Curtains and it could be Gangsta stealing, robbing this man of his first victory. Up air, no. 199, man. Tense, folks. Oh, All yeah. down, raw down tilt. Yeah. Wrath catching uh, Gangsta trying to schmooze and neutral right there with the big down tilt. They do it. They do one going to Wrath. Yep, game one going to Wrath indeed, man. Wrath, poof. I'm telling you, man, teeth were clenched, the boots were hard-pressed, <laughs> everything, dude. Because, you know, raw gangster could just be a gangster that last second turned things around. And before you know yeah. it, you're, you're looking that's at thing, a game loss. That's the thing about players like Wrath. They are veteran-level players who are cool under pressure. Wrath was able to navigate that set of circumstances. Maybe with a few gripes about Sonic not killing, but... That said, really well played in game one, and we're, I think we're going to run it straight back to game number two between these two. Yeah. And of course, you have our up next match here. Of course, it's going to be uh, Jake. Winner's quarters there, of course. We'll get into that in a second after this one. Of course, you still have Wrath and Robot Gangsta. Man, Gangsta, dude, I told you. A couple things he needs to be looking at when it comes to his opponent and this matchup, and it's how you handle it. He didn't use laser enough, but we talked about how important it is to hold right. Sonic in place, right? You want this character to stop moving, you gotta ask yourself the question, what do I need to do to stop him from moving? I do not think Gangsta wanted to uh, mash and put turn on down tilt right there, but Wrath looking for an early deep kill here, but uh, Gangsta able to escape briefly. Yeah, <laughs> briefly indeed. All right, well, so far, a little bit of a scrap here between these two. Forward air. But that's when you think about Sonic 2 as well, like, you have to also consider he's one of those characters that, like, man, he can just, he can be aggressive, but he can also camp you when he needs to. And that's the thing, though, is that uh, Raph's, change in pace was actually a response in the last game to the games to trying to slow it down so both characters are able to really just mix it up in terms of uh boxing out as, as well as the big uh call outs there rafting the back air take that first stop I'm trying to hold on to gyro as much as possible too it's a good strategy there's two really good defensive strategies when you actually manage to get a hold of gyro one is to toss it straight up in the air and the other one's to try and hold on to it as long as possible right and even then like there are some characters that do that pretty well and some characters you can't really afford to hold it just because you might need those buttons but yeah you have to consider that do i want to hold gyro or do i want to just toss it away tossing it up in the air is good too because that's something that rob can forget at times here in that forward at the oh. very tail end it's something i forget about with sonic man because like i said he can be aggressive defensive you name it Sometimes, especially with a character like Sonic, the best defense is honestly a good offense. And that's what this character has in his toolkit. Just really great offensive tools that if he wants to camp and kind of bait you out, he has he has the opportunity to do so. And that advantage today was basically born out of Raph's really good ledge trapping play. And look at this. He's just putting the boots to Gangster right now. Gangster, did I survive this? Nope. Oh, still living at Still living, all right. <laughs> oh! Oh, the, the air dodge through the homing attack. This back throw. Wrath is giving him no quarter right now. Oh, just whip for it all there. <laughs> he already smells the victory, bro. He knows. You know what? Let me show this guy no quarter, and it's okay, because I got the stock lead, I got the forward air, and Wrath will take it up 2-0 oh, over Robot Gangsta. Man, this kid is on a tear, because he knows what he's after. He's after Rath that gem. He's after the he's after the real gems, man. <laughs> the money. 